Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, in this video, I am going to show you the changes and improvements in the beta channel of Windows 11 Insider Preview, version 23H2, build 22635.4010, KB5041869. So, without further ado, let's begin. The more simplified system tray with shortened date and time change, that began rolling out with build, 22635.3930, is now beginning to roll out again to Windows Insiders in the beta channel, after temporarily disabling the experience to address some issues. For insiders in the beta channel who have the experience, where we see jump lists, when you hover your mouse cursor over apps on the taskbar that have jump lists, that began rolling out with, build 22635.4000. There is a setting to turn this off should you want to. Right click on the taskbar and go to taskbar settings and select taskbar behaviors. This feature is gradually being rolled out for insiders. Microsoft is making some changes in the start menu all apps section, which allows you to change the view and listing of the apps in a categorized format. This feature is gradually being rolled out for the insiders. There are some fixes in this update such as fixed a recent issue, where if you press the shift key, when you right clicked on an app icon on the taskbar, it was opening another instance of the app, rather than opening the expected menu. As part of this fix, Microsoft also fixed an issue, where if you press the shift key, when right clicking on an app icon on the taskbar, would sometimes crash explorer.exe. There are some known issues in this build like, Microsoft is working on a fix for an issue, causing explorer.exe to crash for some insiders, when closing apps from the taskbar in the latest builds. Insiders in the beta channel with the updated recent, favorites, and shared sections, on the file explorer homepage, may see the issue, keyboard focus may be lost on selection of an unselected tab item. The company is also working on a fix for an issue, causing the iMoji panel to close, when trying to switch to the Kaomoji and symbol sections, or after selecting an emoji. The company is rolling out an update for paint to Windows Insiders in the beta and release preview channels, that introduces the following improvements, in the new update, users can now seamlessly switch from their current tool to erase, by pressing the eraser button or flipping to the back of the stylus pen to erase. In the latest update, users can click on the side button, when they hover the stylus pen over the screen to use the freeform selection tool, and select anything on the canvas quickly. So, that was it, hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel and if you have any question, just comment down below, thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.